Greetings, greetings. So now, <clears throat> let's address the different versions and names for your creator. Uh, y'all call them Jesus, Zeus, Hera, whatever. Y'all got several different names for both masculine and feminine aspects of your creator in one person, right? But then, let's go outside of the person. You have 369 that govern the universe. So this person is 369 in the person. So then, let's go off of numbers. Never mind numbers. You have this pattern that's found out throughout life and snowflakes and everything else that exists. It's called the golden ratio. So this person would be the walking, talking, living, breathing golden ratio. He would be the walking, talking, living, breathing 369. He or she, or he and she, would be the walking, talking, living, breathing 369 golden ratio and the universe. So that's how you know this motherfucker identifies and is connected to everything in existence because he's a walking, talking, living, breathing pattern of life. The literally, like literally, the flower of life, he's the whole flower of life, the whole pattern. Walking, talking, living, breathing, which makes him perfect in everything that he does and the way that he looks, even though he don't feel like he might, look, he might not look so perfect. That part. So with that being said, It seemed like from a science aspect, he got shit covered. From a religious aspect, he got shit covered. From a spirituality aspect, covered, uh, aspect, he got shit covered. So your, your creator cover all aspects. If you didn't believe in, it, in God, then you have no choice but to believe in the universe. If you don't believe in the universe, then where in the fuck do you live at? That part. So now with that being said, there's only one of him. He can't be cloned. He can't be copied. He can't be duplicated. And again, he can't be molded or judged. That would be humanity. That would be a human, a simple human mistake to judge him. Because, well, he wouldn't make mistakes. He makes errors. So that means even his mistakes are perfect and are meant to be made. Because he don't make mistakes. He makes perfection and imperfections that are still perfect nonetheless. Which are y'all. And everything else in existence. So with that being said, as long as I know that I'm the golden ratio, as long as I know that I'm the walking, talking, living, breathing, phi, Bonacci sequence, because fib, fib means phi, F-I, still means P-H-I, phi, and we already know who phi is. We already know nothing is higher than phi. So with that being said, <clears throat> that's why you have a pi nil gland, because phi and pi are the same. So pi kneel, pi kneel. So what do you do? You kneel to the pie. Who's the pie? I'm the fucking pie. The one that y'all be like, what's up, doc? What's up, though? The heavenly father from the sky. So if I own the heavens and earth is floating around in the heavens, then that means I own the earth because you still floating around in my universe on this planet with the rest of the fucking planets that I fucking own. So now with that being said, I'm not finna keep playing games with y'all and some mortal-ass, mindless-ass men. Some half-breed-ass humans. Some motherfuckers that's not even really human no more. These bitches have digressed so much that all they are is really walking, talking, living, breathing pussies and dicks. That part. So with that being said, I know who I am. I know my powers. You ain't got shit coming. And you real terrified because y'all had the motherfucking police, the transit cops following the bus because you thought I was going to try and go over there and kill that nigga. No, he's dying. I don't have to go kill nobody. I can do the shit right here. I don't make threats. I guarantee shit. You see, the nigga pulled some whole shit and I created the motherfucking atmosphere for him, for him to have a fucking asthma attack or for his asthma to fuck with him. That part. And I know it's fucking with him. Because it went from being cold to warm. And got real foggy. And I'm not done. I'm gonna fuck with a lot of y'all. I'm gonna fuck a lot of y'all up. Because y'all keep fucking with me. All because of some mere mortal ass man. And ain't none of you motherfuckers ever experienced me a day in your life. Not the way you supposed to. <clears throat> so with that being said...
y'all about to go the fuck down. So I'm a, I'm a sovereign God, and there's nothing no one can do about it. Nobody. Just for all the shit that I've been posting on YouTube alone, I should have been locked the fuck up. I know that. I've had cops come over and in, in to my house. I have police that are subscribed to my channel. I know they watching me. I know they listening to me. I'm, and they know I'm honest as fuck. And they know I'm the truth. They know I'm the truth. It might be a few men and women on on, they, on that motherfucker that might want to act like they don't know. But they know. The real motherfuckers know. The real motherfuckers know. I can't be faded. So meanwhile, I'm being harassed and bombarded by a bunch of fake motherfuckers. And just so happens we're in a depopulation program. Well, I seem to be the most popular, but the most popular motherfucker in existence at the time. Well, later on in this moment, because it's one long ass moment for me. But it's days and hours for y'all. Keep that in mind. So when it's one ass, one long ass moment of time, the same motherfuckers that's harassing me and getting on my nerves and trying to pin cases on me and shit, and I'm a king and I'm a sovereign guy, y'all won't be around. Especially that one bitch that got a lot of niggas doing a lot of jail time for some shit. And she just been taking the bag and running off with that shit. <sighs> trying to build herself up and then rubbing in the face how she dog niggas and shit while they locked the fuck up. I don't like shit like that. I don't like bitches that sit up and have a whole bunch of motherfuckers serving them and shit and then turn around and throw them under the motherfucking bus and get them locked up. And these same motherfuckers be sitting up loyal and pledged to these bitches not realizing that the same bitch that saved you is the same bitch that's putting you in danger to have to save your ass. So what she's doing is she, they're creating false trauma bonds. That's what they're doing. I'm, all, I'm hip to all this shit. See, I do real trauma bonds. See, I'm going to tell you the same bitch. Let me show you how I work and how I'm the most protected motherfucker on the planet. So they moved me in this house. And it was on some cricket shit. So, well, my universe made some trees fall on that house. Now, here's the funny part. I knew the trees was going to fall before they fell. So, two trees fell on this house. First tree fell. The, my universe warned me to get the girls out the home and to keep the boys in the home. So, me and the boys was in the home. The first tree fell. Bam. So, we have a natural trauma bond that was formed by God. Me. So then them females came back. And a couple of days a couple of days later it rained again. Whatever. Me and the mother, we upstairs sleep. We sleep, mind you. It's raining, thunderstorming. And a tree, I'm dreaming. And in my dream, which wasn't a dream, it was the universe telling me what was about to happen while I was in the astral realm, the spiritual realm, because I'm God. So me as God let me know that the tree was about to fall on the house while we were sleeping to wake the fuck up and get down the stairs. Now, here's the funny thing. I'm so powerful, me and her shared the same fucking dream at the same fucking time. So we both woke the fuck up out of our sleep without having no words or no conversation and ran down them fucking steps. We both woke up out of our sleep and said, come on. And by the time we got down the stairs, the tree cracking and falling on the roof, we had both heard in our dreams before it occurred. That's how powerful I am, that I can share dreams with you and wake you up out your sleep in the point of danger. And that same bitch is sitting up turning you motherfuckers against me because she thinks she's me and she's not me. She can be touched and y'all been touching on me. It's time you touch on her. I saved her life too many fucking times. She's indebted to me. I'm not indebted to her. I don't create fake trauma bonds. I don't save people's life in fakeness. I do it in real time. That woman was really on IVs about to die with toxicity in her blood because of her behavior now and still. So y'all get that girl some fucking help. She's a less being. She needs more. Get her some fucking help. And I ain't talking about financial, I ain't talking about drugs, I ain't talking about sex, I ain't talking about money, I ain't talking about lust, I ain't talking about power, because that, that's not love. Using sex to control somebody and money is not love. 